Hot and dry temperatures this summer have made an early and ferocious tick season fall flat. Deer ticks, which carry the bacteria that causes Lyme, thrive in wet weather. But the ongoing dry spell is causing them to be far less active. It's also having an impact on Lyme cases. So far this year, 626 cases of the disease were reported to the Maine CDC compared to just over 2000 in 2019. But experts are warning people not to let their guard down while outside. A cool and rainy fall could trigger a surge of tick activity. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more. Like many Mainers, Craig Donovan and his family braced for the worst this summer season. And we were really ready for a huge, huge tick invasion based on what we we're hearing over the winter. Deer ticks carrying bacteria that causes Lyme disease were on track to be very active this summer. But hot, dry conditions brought a silver lining from the pests. A big deal for Donovan, a survivor of anaplasmosis, a tick-borne illness. He found an embedded tick nine years ago. And we've not had any ticks on our animals. We have not had any ticks on us. They're relatively susceptible to those hot, dry conditions. Griffin Dill is an integrated pest management expert who runs the Maine Cooperative Extension Tick Lab in Orno. By the end of May, the lab had received more than 1,000 tick samples, almost the same number collected in 2019. The nymph tick, which is the size of a poppy seed, emerges in the summer months, the last stage before it becomes an adult. The numbers of, of nymphs that were submitted to, uh, to our lab was, was less than half of what it was at this point last year, so we are really trending down. As Lyme cases are way down as well by nearly half compared to last year. Dr. Sean McCloy is a medical doctor who treats Lyme and other tick-borne infections. Following a busy spring and early summer, he is seeing less patients. I think this year will be a bit of a blip on the radar screen because of that drought conditions. But yeah, the ticks are still there. Um, you know, they're they're just sort of waiting. As for Donovan, it took several years of mind-numbing fatigue before a correct diagnosis. His first blood test didn't screen for anaplasmosis, one of the most common tick-borne infections. A longtime nurse, he encourages people who have an embedded tick bite to be screened for multiple co-infections. Lyme is, you know, the poster child for tick di tick-borne diseases, but there's all this other nefarious stuff going on inside ticks that, you know, probably we aren't even aware of yet. Experts say people and their pets still need to take precautions to protect themselves against ticks. As temperatures drop, rain events and falling leaves mean ticks could become active again this fall. Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.